Good morning guys and welcome back. So today we're going to give our Jeep a Jeep Enema. Now you're probably thinking, isn't Enema that thing where you go up your yep, you know what, they clear you out and make you feeling good. Yes it is. And now this is the Jeep version. Now the Jeep version is going to be clearing out your chassis area from all that dirt, salt, all that nasty stuff that's going to end up rusting your chassis because everybody's like, oh, more chassis rails are rusting out. How can I prevent this? Well, with the Jeep Enema, it's going to take 20 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever time frame you want, it's really up to you. You can just put it up there, you can let it leave, and you're gonna let all that nastiness kind of float out. Now on the Sunshine Coast we do a lot of beach driving, even living on the coast is bad. You get dirt, grime, and with the Jeeps you got all those open holes underneath. You live somewhere where they salt the roads in winter, where it snows, this is a perfect opportunity for you guys to clear that chase here out of all that salt, all that nastiness, so it doesn't stop rusting out. It's really simple, it's really cheap, and it's really straightforward. All you'll need is a drill, a off cut of a hose, any, I kind of did it the same length as the chassis, so it kind of works out alright, you know. Um, and with the drill, all you'll be doing is drilling holes down at various points, top, bottom, and sides off the hose, and then all you'll need is a water source, maybe a hose or something like that will work really simple guys so you'll be drawing holes at various points down that hose i left a gap maybe yeah, like yep yep sort of that big that way it's not going to spray back in your face when you put it in it's pretty simple it's going to take a couple of minutes for you to do that um and then all you've got to do is hook up the hose shove it inside the chassis hole and just let it sit. Drilling holes at different points will allow you to rinse down the bottom of your chassis, rinse down the top of your chassis and the sides as well. Normally people just shove a hose in there, let it sit and that's kind of just like flat out the bottom but if you've got salt water, sand, everything like that, it's going to be everywhere. So you want to make sure you're soaking that as beautiful as possible. So let's hook this up to the hose, shove it in that chassis rock and give our Jeep a nice little enema. Also comment below if you guys are giving your Jeeps enema or if there's some other fancy dancy thing that we haven't done to clean out our jet rails. But let's chuck this in the chassis and give this jeep a nice enema and make it feel beautiful again. Come on guys. So on the jeep's chassis rail you got little holes in the chassis where all the dirt, salt water, stuff like that can get into. There, down, there and there. You usually have to pick one. You can do multiple ones if you want, whatever you want. But that length of the hose will run the entire length of the chassis. So all you need to do is get your hose that's got the parts drilled into it and oh, just shove it in there now be careful you don't want to hurt it see you don't have to lube it up, you can just do it nicely. Oh. And then you can come down this end and you'll be able to see the hose in there. That way you know it's all the way down. It might get caught so just pull it back and forward a couple of times. It's all the way down. I think it comes up about there. Then, a the nice part. So, get your hose. And just shove that in the end. And then you can see, oh yeah, all that crap is coming out. And it's cleaning the top, the bottom, the sides, everything. Oh, there's more the rough And then just like a normal enema, most people will have had them before. You can just yeah, Oh yeah. Now it's up to you, you can put a footing on that if you want. I kinda of just hold it. Oh yeah. Oh look at that. That's what you want to see. Look at that. Oh yeah. Well, 
All right, now it's all nice and clean. Now it's, yeah, I think the other part was pretty more satisfying. But now, to pull it out. And then you wind up with all this mess on the floor. So just be prepared guys, there's going to be a little bit of mess afterwards. And if there's not, maybe there's something wrong for you. Or, your dupes had just multiple enemas before. But you should wind up with some mess on the ground that you can easily clean up. And you can just face the hose the opposite way to go. On the back of the chassis, go from the front of the chassis. Or whatever you want to do, the Jeep enema is... Really pretty simple and straightforward. So that's pretty much it for today guys. If you like this enema, try it on your Jeep. If you like this video, smash that like button if you haven't already. Smash the subscribe button as well. I hope this helps you guys and saves your Jeep as well. So that's pretty much it for today guys. I hope you like this video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.